a debate stretching into late last night about mental health, safety, and land use in one quiet South Bay neighborhood. So all of this centers around a lot in the Rolling Hills Ranch section of East Lake and Chula Vista, as well as a behavioral health hospital that Scripps and Acadia Healthcare wanted to build there. Yeah, it would bring more mental health services to the South Bay, but neighbors have been fighting the idea since it was first announced in 2019. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell joining us live from City Hall, where council members rejected the project in a vote late last night. Marie, it's important to point out that though everybody did agree on one thing, and that is the importance of mental health. The issue was over the location. And Virginia, a majority of the questions raised revolved around the location of this proposed hospital. Uh, many city leaders really made it clear that mental health is an important issue and needs to be addressed, but there were some who had concerns about the planning of this hospital. So I understand and I respect the validity and the need to provide these critical services in the community. That's not what's before the council. What's before the council is not whether we support these services in our community. Absolutely support it. Absolutely there's a need. I just think there are glaring holes in this application that can't get me to the threshold to check that second box. Council member Stephen Padilla was among the council members who voted to reject plans to build a mental health hospital in Eastlake. The planned 120 bed facility would eventually replace Scripps Mercy Hospital's 36 bed inpatient behavioral health unit, providing care for more people. It would be the largest inpatient psychiatric hospital in the county. But neighbors argue there are no other hospitals or resources around the area that would support patients and staff. There are no businesses that operate 24-7 uh, uh, in that business park that, that border uh, these neighborhoods. Um, and so we just feel that, uh, you know, the job has a, the city has a job to do city planning and they really don't have a good plan. Chula Vista Mayor Mary Salas, who supports this plan, cites there is this need to have a facility like this, especially right now, as more and more people are dealing with depression and anxiety because of the pandemic. Live from Chula Vista this morning, Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.